A nationwide movement to encourage people to talk more openly about death with the idea that it's healthy rather than taboo to talk about the natural end of life. At D.C.'s Congressional Cemetery, an event is held every weekend where people actually practice dying. It's held by the cemetery's first ever death doula. Laura Lister Mensch joins us to explain how it works. Good morning. Good morning, Robin, Larry. Um, so so I, I think dying in this culture, I don't know if it's taboo, but it just makes people uncomfortable. Uh, especially in a culture that believes in heaven and living forever. So how do you explain that? I, I think that uh, none of us is an expert in death because we've never done it. So I, I, I really feel it's a kind of a natural thing that we worry about that. But I think that being scared of something that is inevitable also kind of decreases our enjoyment of life. So it's really about living, not dying. So in these gatherings that you have once a week, uh, do people, you say people practice dying and they'll write their, write an obituary. They're pra how do you practice dying? Are you just kind of laying there and how, how does that all work? <laughs> So you showed one of the pictures from that event. Yeah. In that particular event, the first one, we had some singers who um, volunteer their time, the Threshold Singers of DC. They volunteer their time to sing around the beds of people who are dying. So I invited them to come for our first event. And you can see there's a picture of one volunteer who came and laid down and experienced that. And this is all part of exercises that we're going to do this year. It's an experiment at Historic Congressional Cemetery where we talk about death, we think about death, we make plans, uh, we write our stories, we organize our digital lives to, to just really take it seriously and live more fully. Yeah, I wonder if someone it, it, practicing for the first time comes away from that and, and maybe says to you, you know, I've been living my life doing these things and maybe I should have been doing those things. What kind of feedback have you gotten? You, you nailed it there. Uh, in, during the exercise that we did last week, writing your own obituary, it was actually quite a lot of young people. And they had never thought about who they'll leave behind, who will remember them, um, who has gone before them. And I heard from several people that they were going to make some changes in their life so that their obituary eventually would be better. Mm. Interesting. So do you find your gatherings are growing? Are they a mix of young and old people? It's a mix of uh, young and old people. I will say one thing I found interesting is it's mostly female, huh. which which I, I don't know why, but I was surprised. Um, it's an experiment. We don't know what will happen, but we had uh, a full house for the first one and uh, quite a quite a big group for the second one. And, you know, I'd like to keep it intimate. I'd like it to go on all week and not be too big a crowd. I'd like to have some really great, courageous conversations. Are there any people like you doing this in, in other parts of the country, like Chicago? <laughs> no, so there's a lot of um, end of life doulas or death doulas, and I would recommend everyone find one if you're dealing with an end of life situation or you just want to have one in place for when you do have a death in the, you know impending death yeah. in your family um what we're doing at congressional cemetery though is as far as i know the first time that a cemetery has had a, a an end of life doula or a death doula in residence we made that up ah. but it's it's an congressional cemetery is a it's an active burial ground has an apiary it's a dog park it's it's a community center and so it's a really great place to do this experiment and we're just going to kind of see what happens my goal this year is to get those conversations going and i'm so honored that congressional cemetery is doing this well thanks for joining us for more you can check out lmwriter.com or congressionalcemetery.org and you can follow laura on social media thanks so much thanks laura thank you so much